How's it going everyone? Matt here. And if you're new to the channel, fist pumps or handshakes are in order. Nice to meet you. So in today's video, I'm just going to chat simply. So where can I start off? So in 2018, I started my YouTube channel and I never believed that it would have even gotten as far as that it is right now. And with it comes a lot of errors and headache and stress and determination and I'll, I'll get all into that but in 2018 I really never took this seriously and about six months ago I really got serious like extremely serious into being a youtuber or a content creator I literally have made well over 100 videos I know by all means that that is not a super high achievement with being a content creator because people have made thousands of videos that's not what I'm trying to get at what I'm trying to get at is that I just started out and no word of a lie I want to let you know that it is literally possible to be a youtuber and I know that I haven't been on this platform at all and I literally have just been hardcore into it for like six months but being a youtuber <laughs> It's it's an amazing journey. I, I love what I do. I love making the videos. And the way I look at it is that, okay, some people post a video and they only get like, what, one or two views? And then they get so discouraged from it. And then they get so much heartache and they have anxiety over it. And for what point? <laughs> like, literally, I make videos that I actually like and I am confident that you would like it too. That's why I post what I post. And this is kind of the reason why I'm doing this video is because of what I'm posting. And it feels like in a way I'm literally posting dog shit for all of you to watch. And that is literally not the case at all. And if you were following me, you would know that I've been posting for about six months. I'm talking like consistently, like three times a week. i have been posting Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And with that being my life, it has literally put a huge toll on me and I've worried so much about being in front of the camera and talking to the camera and having the actual, um, not having stage fright, let's say, to talk to the camera like it's an actual person because it is, it's the only way I can have communication with my audience, right? And so with it being me posting three times a week, has put a huge toll on me and by a huge toll I meant like physically because it's wrecking my sleep and mentally because YouTube I didn't know this and if you're a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer you know exactly what I feel literally YouTube is a great job it's like a hobby job in a way and it doesn't feel like work in any way, but it is work at the exact same time because it takes effort. Everything takes effort to do something, right? So with YouTube, it being my job, it's, it's a 24 seven job. I literally do not go a minute, a second, an hour without thinking about YouTube. It's, that's all. I know and like since I was younger to like six months ago I feel like knowing what I know now I was extremely lost like I it was like I'm one of those kids okay you're in grade like seven grade five or whatever and your teacher asks you oh what do you want to be when you grow up and the, like the obvious answer is like oh policeman postman fireman like paramedic anything like that right and I didn't know what to do so I've always liked art or the art path like video and drama and writing and drawing whatever and I didn't know what I truly truly wanted to do until six months ago when I started this YouTube channel or my YouTube channel and actually being dedicated and committed to it and having discipline to get up every single day and 
put in the grind, put in the daily work, the eight to 10 hours every single day to make something. I literally wake up every day with a purpose to actually create something from nothing. Having that joy is fantastic because I've literally I've had lots of jobs, but what I'm doing now, making the video for, making videos for all of you, is more enjoyable and I have so much joy and happiness from doing what I do. And I've never had that from another job. Like for an example, I would literally be editing a video and you probably laughed from my, <laughs> couldn't even talk. You probably laughed about some of the punts that I put in. <laughs> I laugh at those too, don't worry. <laughs> like, the previous video that I put on, uh, I think it was Thursday, so this video will be posted on Saturday, that you will be watching it on this Saturday. That... <laughs> so the video on Thursday <laughs> is a Pokemon video, just a trailer reveal and whatever. So with this video, uh, there was a part in the trailer where it like was super mind-blowing, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm getting this information for the first time ever. And and then I go to the pun where it's like, Oh, I like it a lot. 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 By, what was his name? Lloyd Christmas of Dumb and Dumber. And I literally die. And I don't get that joy from anywhere else that I literally worked besides doing what I do. <laughs> so yeah, basically the, the whole thing about this video is YouTube is a very very hard thing to get into and I'm not into this for the views and I've literally put out videos that don't even get any views and or just one view and it doesn't even matter because literally I like doing what I'm doing and I'm in this for the long haul I don't think I'll ever not make a YouTube video I enjoy doing it and I'm probably gonna always make YouTube videos it's just, it's so fun. You grab a camera and you just go, right? And it's the cool thing about what I realize about being a YouTuber and because I follow YouTubers as well, that it's a person and a camera and then you're the audience behind the camera, right? So it's literally just a person and a camera and with these high budgeted shows or programs or whatever you want to call it, like Netflix and Showcase and Amazon Prime, like video, there's a shitload of them, but what it is, is that it's personal when you're subscribed to a person, right? Because I subscribe to a person because of their demeanor, their, their personality, who they are as a person, what they do on the channel, if it's going to benefit me, or I just like to leisure and enjoy their content. I've never really put a video out like this before in my life and I'm not gonna lie to you I probably have filmed this like like eight times to get it like I guess right it's this video is still shot wrong the audio is wrong the whole setting is wrong the lighting is wrong it doesn't matter I don't care it, who gives a shit literally I'm just making a video and I enjoy doing it but yeah, to get out of this video, it is this video is an update to let you know that the content that I'm producing, I I need to slow down. I need to post once a week, maybe twice a week. I just I I have MIA'd so many people in my life that matter to me because I am literally beyond obsessed with YouTube. I love doing it that much. And it is put me into a position that has made me extremely independent as a person and from that I've learned to be addicted to me being alone and I just don't think that's healthy and I feel like the videos that I'm producing are extremely rushed which that was the comment that I was saying I'm posting dog shit to you and that isn't the case I thought when I first started YouTube because I'm a rookie, right? So with me starting YouTube that I need to just post, 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 post and edit, 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 edit and video, video, video. And that's all that I wanted to do because and that's all I did. And from that, it's put me kind of in a bad routine, but in a good routine because I would, I'm so dedicated now that I've made it, I've made it 
I've burnt it into my head that this is my life. This is what I do. Just like you do what you do and you go to your job. This is what I do. And my friends have accepted it. My family's accepted it. And I think I truly accepted it as well. And it's a great feeling because I have never felt, I don't know, necessarily free, happy. I love doing this. I love being a streamer. I'm not a streamer yet. Internet is not very good to actually stream. But again, yeah, I need to slow down the making of content to once or twice a week. The days that I'm going to be posting or yeah, the days that I'm going to be posting are Saturday for sure. I'll have a video every single Saturday and then sometimes on Sunday. Um, but it just is how I am in my life and I need more time for me instead of just being all the time in the studio and just create, create, create because believe it or not, I do get writer's block and it's hard to get up every day and make the content and think of something that what would I what would I want my audience to watch but I need to put it in perspective I am an audience too watching YouTube and what do I like so what is worth putting on YouTube because YouTube all they want is people watching videos ready like all that YouTube wants is people to stay on the platform for hours and just watch videos because that means ads. YouTube's making money. Every single video that's out and every single ad that's out, boom, YouTube's making money. And that's basically what the whole goal is for YouTube, obviously, is to make money. And to have that is to have content that people are actually wanting to watch. Right? So uh, I feel like with me backing it off a little bit just for one piece of content, maybe two a week, that. I'm going to put so much more extra detail, so much extra stuff, effort, effects, me being original, humble, yeah, just everything, I feel like it's going to be better. Uh, it's going to be more of a healthy atmosphere. I feel like I'm going to have the love that I still have for being a YouTuber still burn because I've been posting for the three times a week for six months and I kind of do feel a little bit burnt out, not gonna lie, and it's, I literally pull on nighters just to, like, actually get a video done, like, you can, if you know who I am, you would, but, like, my friends know, and my family know, that I literally am in the studio for hours, literally hours, and I have my friends literally chilling here at my place, and I'm not around, they're literally just here chilling. And that's cool and all, like, I'll go out every, like, maybe hour or half hour and be like, hey, yo, what's up, guys, kind of a thing. But at the same time, I'm just so dedicated to becoming a better YouTuber, and the only competition is yourself. There is no competition with anyone else. The, like, the only person that you need to convince and the only person that you need to work on is yourself, right? So that's what i'm doing right now and i feel like with me backing it up my content is just going to be that much better so yeah that's basically the rant that i'm going on today <laughs> uh yeah again thank you to my audience thank you to all of my 45 subscribers literally i didn't even think that i could have even gotten that many like <laughs> it's just gonna go up from here right so that's the vibe right i just i want good vibes on my channel i want a good community that likes what I do and communicates with me and I communicate with you and we're all the family on this channel so welcome <laughs> if you're still here even if you didn't even watch the video you probably don't even give a shit but whatever I wanted to make this video and I don't really care what anyone thinks I made it because I wanted to so yeah there's always gonna be haters right <laughs> so again everyone thank you so much for watching and liking and as always, I'll see you all in the next video, my friends. Until next time, stay golden.